guys, it's Premier back for you on the YouTube video. So, I don't have my makeup on. Y'all know what that means. Updated makeup tutorial. Per. So, I did just recently do one of these, like, literally a week ago. I don't know. Go watch that right here. But, as you guys know, I do have an updated one. I just went shopping for new makeup recently. If you want to go watch that, click right here. So, yeah, this is the new makeup bag. Her, super cute, got lips all over it. And it has all of my new makeup in here. And, yeah, I'm just... I was just, you know, thinking since I have a new makeup routine, might as well, you know, let y'all know. But before we start. Oh my God, hot Cheeto girl. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get ourselves, you know, a little snack before we start. So get y'all's little plates. You know, get a good amount. Open this bitch and then get your tapatio. Just Yum. Mm, so good. Oh, can't forget your ice snack. So I don't have any makeup on. This is my everyday makeup routine. Um, some days I'll do a more, you know, natural look where I literally just put mascara on. But this is my overall routine as of right now. This is basically a catfish makeup routine um a lot of people say my makeup looks like a doll like i do my makeup like a doll so yeah if you want to look like a doll keep watching so the first thing i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this face razor and i'm just gonna clean up my brows they're not like super bad but there's just a little bit of hairs down here and i did my brows myself i've never gotten them done so this is how i do them And there's the brows. So now I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Concealer in the shade Light Medium 29N. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take this Morphe brush in the M22-4. It's basically just this like type of brush. I'm just gonna take the concealer one and get some concealer on it. And then literally just carve out my brows. Sometimes I start with the top, sometimes I start with the bottom, but I'll usually always start with the bottom and I just do that and then I do the other side. Now you're gonna conceal the top exactly the same as you just did the bottom. And now the other side. Just like that. You're gonna take your beauty blender, and I did get a new one, y'all. And just blend it. You, I blend mine before I do anything else because the concealer that I got does dry real quick. It's more of like a tacky concealer. And I do really like it, it's really creamy, but I don't want lines on my face. Okay, change the setup because that lighting was not doing it for me. Basically just finish. Blending. Now that you're done concealing your brows, you can do the step before or after you conceal. I sometimes do it before, but sometimes I forget like today and I do it after. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel and you're just gonna gel down your brows so that way they, you know, stay in place. It's just like that. And just like that. Next thing I go ahead with is this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush 12, it's just a brow brush, with the Anastasia brow gel, brow pomade in soft brown. I use the cap to just like flatten my brush and use all of the excess product. So I'll usually just start by rubbing the brush on here, like I won't even get product at first. Just to, you know, see what I'm doing. And I think today I'm gonna start with the top. Let me 
be the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. It's different every day. It really just depends on how I'm feeling if I start with the top line or the bottom line. But basically, you're gonna draw a line outlining your brow. Just like that, so I drew the top line. I'm gonna extend the top of it just a little bit. And that really like fades it out as well because I didn't add more product. Now I'm gonna do the bottom line. Okay, so now that you have the shape, you're just gonna fill in the back of it. Okay, y'all see this? I started with the bottom. This side just always looks way better. Do not start with the top line because then it's gonna look way too big and bulky. I'm gonna fix this brow, don't worry. But basically, once you get to this point where you've you know filled in the back, you're gonna start just using your same brush. Like, don't get any more product. If you want, you can like get a little bit off of here, but don't really. And then just you know fluff it to the front. Like bare, like really lightly. You can't even see, but really lightly, and then spoolie it out. Super cute. That's how it should look. This one looks disgusting. I don't know. Okay, looking a little bit better. Now you're just gonna take the same brush and you're gonna put some concealer in the middle, just like that, and. Again, you guessed it, take your beauty blender and just blend that hoe. Just like so. Next thing you're gonna do is go in with the same concealer, put um, and I don't really put it on my cheeks at all because I'm gonna go in with this with my foundation. The Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna take that and put... A little bit on the cheek. And same for the other side. Now take your damp beauty blender and just blend again. I forgot to mention, before I start blending, I flip up my nose ring. Um, just so it doesn't get like super dirty. Now that your face is, you know, blended, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this contour stick by Mario in the shade medium and this Morphe brush in M164. It's just like this type of brush. This stick is pretty sad, but it does its job. So you're just gonna get some, you know, on your brush. A little line. And another one, and then, just like that. And just like that. Now you're gonna go in with this um, blending brush. It's the RI or the RT43. I'm not sure, but just like a contour blending brush. And you're just gonna blend that bitch. Just like that. It looks really cute right now, but I do go ahead and go in with some more just because I like my nose very, very contoured right in the same spots and i'm gonna actually drag it down this time instead of just doing a line you want to like drag it this part this way this part this way and this part up and then this part you kind of just like barely blend that much now that your nose is contoured up you're gonna go back in with your concealer brush and your concealer get the teeniest dot yes and literally just do a dot 
just like that little highlight and then you're gonna get it right on the tip just like that make sure your brush is super flat draw your exclamation mark so once you've drawn that you're gonna blend the top right away because you don't want the line to go that high up I just blend it with my finger and that is about it now we're gonna let that sit just because we want that to keep the effect of the exclamation mark we are then gonna go in with your blush brush this one is royal and langanical contour bmd 120 i guess this is a contour brush i don't know this is what i use for blush and then we're gonna go in with this morphe 2 palette in pink please and right the second one will be the blush that we are using just get, you know, a lot of that. You know, Premier loves her blush. And for me, I put it a lot, like, right here for some reason. Like, I just like how it looks right there. And then I just drag it down. And I just keep packing that shit on there. And you can never have enough blush with Premier. Yeah. So after you're done with the blush, you're gonna go ahead and go in with your setting spray. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. And you're just gonna spray yourself. Now that that's done, go in with your Fenty Beauty setting powder in Banana. Along with just a little fluffy brush, um, I'm using this one that came in like a palette. It has this side along with the fluffy brush that I use. And I really just get some, pack it on to one side, and... Set my nose just like that, <laughs> the silence. But you're also gonna drag it down so it's covering the whole nose. And then I kind of just drag the excess up and just pack it under my eye. And I, I always cut this right here, even though like there's blush right there. I don't know, I just do it. So you're gonna do the same on the other side. This side is always way easier. I feel like this side of my face just always looks better, always. And if it gets in your hair, it's okay. It's all a part of the process. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this NYX eyeliner pencil, just in black. And I'm gonna do my waterline. First of all, sharpen your shit before you put it in your eye. product I just wasted. Wow. I recommend probably buying an actual eyeliner sharpener. I don't have one and I think that's why my shit breaks. Oh my god. See this is why I don't even f with the pencils like. Okay we're gonna try it. Just like that you're gonna get your whole waterline and then on the outside you're just gonna Drag it out a little bit. It doesn't really matter how it looks. Just like that. See, this side always looks better. <laughs> now that you've put in your eyeliner on your waterline, you're gonna go in with a fluffy brush. I'm using the Morphe M439, and you're just gonna um, wipe off your bake. I wipe it off that much with this brush. And then I go back in with the brush that I applied it with. Make sure that there's nothing on it. And I just, you know, fluff it off with this one just so that way I don't mess up any details or anything. 
just like that. Now you're gonna go in with the Clinique, Clinique, I don't know, Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. This is how the wand looks. Super cute, it doesn't really matter. This actually does make your lashes pretty um, long and nice. Like this mascara is really good, I got it from Ulta. But um, you don't need your lashes to, you don't need a good mascara. You just need a mascara to make your lashes black. Okay, yeah, just put one coat on of that. And it really does not matter if you get it on your lid. I mean, it does matter, but like, it doesn't really matter. I do it all the time. Like literally every single time I put a mascara on, it always gets on my lid. So don't worry. Okay, now that you know you got your mascara on, you can either take a Q-tip or a white bee and just take that off. I just put this on it real quick, beauty blender. And it's back to perfect. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of, you know, pat this in. It's not gonna move because it is, you know, dried. But I do like how it looks. I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay setting spray again and spray my whole face. Now that we're at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get my lashes. I got these from Amazon. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Kiss Lash Glue. Um, it doesn't really matter what lash glue you use, whatever works best for you. I do use tweezers because I have nails, so I got these tweezers from Tweezer Man. That's the best tweezer brand. Just put some lash on your just lash on your lashes. Just put some glue on your lashes, you know the deal. While that is drying, we're gonna go back in with this Morphe 2 palette. I'm gonna take this teeny tiny gold brush. Um, it doesn't say, oh wait, it's an eyeliner brush. I did used to use this for my waterline, but now I'm using it for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to the bottom one with the cream and I'm just gonna get some, you know, a good amount and I'm gonna put it right over that little dot that we left there. I'm also gonna take it and go right at the top. Now that the nose highlight's on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the right lash on. I always do the right side of my face first and the left side always turns out better, so I don't know. But we're just gonna place this on with the tweezers. That's that side, let's do the other side. Once you have both of them on, you're gonna go in with your eyeliner pencil again and just really fill in this like little gap right there. Literally just connect it, set it. We're almost done, I promise. Take your little highlight brush. Um, this one is Small Fan Brush 11 May. It's from Sheen. I'm gonna spray the brush as well. I'm gonna go into the, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that. I can't believe it already broke. What? I guess I'm just like destructible with my makeup, but we're gonna go in with the top highlight. It's like a pink highlight. Just get a bunch of it on there. And then we're also gonna mix that in with the bottom cream highlight. So we got cream and then regular highlight. And we're just gonna start, you know, putting them both on there. Just mixing them up until you're super glowy. Now the other side. Yeah. Last thing is lips. You're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead in with this Kylie Jenner 808 liner, lip liner. And I'm just gonna line my lips. I do overline a little bit, but not as much as it looks like because my lips do have a bunch of makeup on them right now. So you, they obviously look smaller than they are. Top. Definitely messed up right there. Oh, did we though? Okay, happy accidents. Now that your lips are lined, you're gonna go in with 
This Kylie lip just came with the lip liner. It was a lip kit. Um, there's black stuff all over it, I don't know. Um, it's the 808 Kylie, yeah. They both literally came together, so. It's this more neutral pink color, and I'm really liking it. Just tap it on there. This is an added step if you have piercings, you know, remember to flip that bitch down, because I always forget. Clean it, clean the sides so, you know, they don't have makeup on them. We turn the brightness up. This is the finished product. So yes, this is the end product. This is how I do my makeup all the time. Um, it takes me about 30 minutes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to tag me if you do end up trying my makeup routine. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'll try not to change my makeup routine anytime soon. Make sure you're subscribed and have the post notifications on. I am now gonna go do my hair. So if you want to see a tutorial of how I do my hair with the extensions, go click this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Make sure to go check out all my other social medias. Go check out all my other YouTube videos. Bye guys, love you.